Hello and welcome to the second week of Goosebump Book Reviews. This week I reviewed a new one and it wasn't about ghosts on beaches or, or uh, creatures like that or caves on the beach. This week I reviewed ones about monsters from Mars. Egg, mo egg monsters from Mars. Here is the book. This one is called Egg Monsters from Mars and it's written by R.L. Stein from 1995 and I will read the back for you. Which came first, the monster or the egg? An egg hunt. That's what Dana Johnson's bratty little sister Brandy wants to have at her birthday party and whatever Brandy wants, Brandy gets. Dana's not big on egg hunts but that was before he found the egg. It's not like a normal egg. It's about the size of a football. It's covered with blue and ugly purple vines and it's starting to hatch. Reader beware, you're in for a scare. I will read, I will tell you about the plot. Jana Johnson it doesn't get along with his bratty little sister Brandy and um, what happens is she wants to have an egg hunt for the birthday party because it's near Easter and so she gets one and then so at the birthday party um, Dana finds a strange egg and takes it to his room and puts it in his sock drawer and it hatches in the morning so in the morning he takes it over to his best friend's house and it almost falls down the drain because the mom was mad at him for bringing it over because she thought it was gross but he saves it and then he brings it to a science lab down the street from his house and once he gets there um, there's a and he knocks on the door and the uh, um, and no one comes to the door because he finds out it's closed on Sundays. But then Dr. Gray, who's a scientist who works really hard, opened the door and let him in for the day to show him the egg monster. And then he gets inside and uh, Dr. Gray is so glad that he brought it because he thought he collected them all, but there was more of the egg monsters around town and that he already la uh, laddied up and brought in. And so he shows the rest of them to uh, Dana, and then he, so he, um, Dana is so surprised that there's more of the creatures. And then the scientist explains that they're from Mars and they got, they came to Earth from a, sand, a sandstorm on Mars that happened two years ago, and that they were, um, brought in and in, in gal galaxy winds brought them here to his town and so all, all of a sudden Dr. Gray gets really mean and just letting you know that I'm going to tell spoilers from now on so if you don't if you want to read this book for yourself uh, please leave now okay now that they're gone, I can tell the rest to you guys who want to hear the rest. Okay, so Dr. Gray gets really mad at Dana and says, You can't leave because you might be contaminated by the egg creatures. And he locks them in a room with all the creatures. And he uh, forces them to eat macaroni and cheese. And he hates macaroni and cheese. And it's freezing in there. It's really cool because they have to keep it cold enough because <laughs> because the egg monsters need the cold to function to live, and then so Dana thinks he's gonna freeze in there and die, and then he finds out that Doctor Gray doesn't he wants to keep him in there for his own science experiments and not because he's worried about him, and then so Dana's dad comes to the science lab looking for him. And um, 
Dana screams and punches on the glass to try to help him, but the dad can't hear anything. And then he realized that they, he was stuck there forever. And then, so he tries to fall asleep, but he's scared at the egg monsters because they just stare at him all the time. And then um, something happens, and the egg monsters form into a giant egg monster, and they... Um, try they form into a giant egg monster and go over his body and to create a blanket to keep him warm so they're really good guys they're really the good guys in the story that's one of the spoilers that they're really good and then what happens is Dana is comfortable all night from the warmth of the monsters and then in the morning Dr. Gray comes in and finds the egg monster's joint turned into one and he gets mad and he says why did you what did you do to my egg monsters why did you do that to them what did you do to them and he gets really mad at him and Dana gets really scared and um, Dr. Greg grabs the egg monsters off of him and throws them against the wall <coughs> And then, after he throws them at the wall, Dana um, escapes out the door and runs away. And he goes to his parents' house, back to his parents' house, and he tries to tell them that, that his that dad, that, hey, I, I was there, you were there, and you saw me, I saw you there, but you couldn't hear me because he, Dr. Gray trapped me. And he, and made me stay overnight in the cold and so they go back to the science lab and Dr. Gray is gone and so um, they go home and Dana's dad says don't worry about it just sleep take a nap and you'll feel better when you wake up and so Doc, uh, Dana wakes up in the morning and feels like a new person and he feels so good about himself and then he walks outside to start a new day. And here's the major spoiler. They, he lays down in the grass and lays his own egg. And I... That's the, that, the end. That's the, what happened. So, I... I and in this segment now, I will read a random page for you. This one. Would you like to go in? Dr. Gray asked. He didn't wait for me to answer. He pulled out a small black control unit from his pocket and pushed a button. The door swung open. And then he opened the door wider and guided me inside. Whoa! I uttered a cry when I felt a blast of cold air. It's freezing in here, I exclaimed. Dr. Gray smiled. We keep it very cold. It seems to keep them more alert. He held a shoebox in one hand. He motioned to the egg creatures with the other. Once they hatch, the creatures don't like the heat. If the temperature goes too high, they melt, he explained. He, he lowered the box to the floor. We don't want them to melt, he said. If they melt, we can't study them. Leaning over the box, he lifted my egg creature gently. He placed it beside three or four other egg creatures. All of the yellow blobs began bouncing excitedly. Dr. Gray picked up the box and stood back. He smiled down at the new arrival. We don't want you to melt, do we? He told it. We want you to be nice and alert so we keep it cold as we can. I shivered and rubbered my arms. I had goosebumps all over my skin from the excitement or from the cold. I wish I had worn something warmer than a t-shirt. So that's my review of Egg Monsters from Mars. And for this book, I give it one and a half shivering goosebump thumbs up. I give it one and a half because I didn't really get the ending when he said he laid his own egg. I, di I didn't get it. For next week, I am trying a new part of the show. We're 
you help me pick one to read. So I have The Haunted Mask 2 or Ghost Camp. And I want you to leave comments and tell me which one you want to hear a review for. So thanks for watching my Goosebump review of Egg Monsters from Mars. And tune in next week for the next one.